Hello there. Today we are going to be ranking the Marvel movies from worst to best, and I'll be using emojis to describe them. Today's emoji is this. Okay. Now that that's gone, let's get on with the rankings. Okay, what, real quick, I need to tell you something. I have not seen a lot of Marvel movies that are on this list, so I'm just kind of kind of going to give them announcements as we go along the list. These are all the Marvel movies and TV shows that I have not seen. Now, on the bottom of the list is Eternals. So, how I see this movie is, take one of those, like, kind of annoying ads, like, on a YouTube video or, like, a video game. Then add some inappropriate stuff and some action and canon and then stretch it really out for runtime. And that's basically how I see Eternals. So, yeah, it got the bottom of the list. And this is our next emoji for the next group of Marvel movies and TV shows. Okay, so these are more movies that I have not seen. And next on the list is this excuse for a Fantastic Four movie. I just did not like the way the characters acted in this and just how it all came down. Next up, Thor The Dark World. I don't even need to talk about this one that much, but honestly, I was almost tempted to put it a little higher on the list. And this is our next emoji, representing the more decent Marvel movies. Okay, I have not seen the Amazing Spider-Man trilogy, but I can only assume it'd go here. Okay, next up is Captain Marvel. You know, this movie is pretty decent watching it the first time, but watching it the second time was just kind of meh. Next up, Iron Man 2. You know, this movie wasn't that bad, it was just kind of forgettable. Okay, What If was a pretty good series, but it wasn't canon and it's kind of hard to care about. Okay, next up, The Hulk. Not The Incredible Hulk, The Hulk. And this was another one of those decent movies, but it just didn't make a lot of sense. Okay, now Avengers Age of Ultron. This is a pretty good movie, but it definitely wasn't as good as the first Avengers movie. And it, I also understand that it kind of twisted Ultron's origins a little bit from the comics. So this movie lands here. Next up is Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man trilogy. I really like these movies. It's a good watch. Next up, the X-Men trilogy. I don't have a lot to say about this, but it should have been a tiny bit lower on this list now that I think about it. Now, Hawkeye. I really enjoyed this series, and I like the whole Christmas theme and the Kingpin, and Hawkeye truly is an underrated character that is just so great. Next up is this Fantastic Four movie, and I, like, I think I like this one better than most people do. It's underappreciated. And now we have Iron Man, the movie that started it all, and I had a pre pretty decent spot on the list, I'd say. Now Black Widow. I kind of try to ignore the fact that it's about a character that's already died and just tried to enjoy the movie. Now Spider-Man Homecoming. I know it might hurt some people to see it this long list, but I gotta stay true to my opinion. I actually really like this movie and it'd be a lot higher if the other Marvel movies weren't just so good. And now Doctor Strange. I really like this movie. The visuals were really good and the plot was pretty good itself. And now for our next emoji representing these great Marvel movies. And now Iron Man 3. When I was young and first watched this movie, I thought it was kind of boring. But then I watched it when I was older and realized it's not that bad. But the whole Mandarin, fake Mandarin thing was a little upsetting. And now Thor. I really like the dynamics between Thor and Loki in this one, but there's not much else to say about it. And now WandaVision. I really like the old-timey reality TV show style of the first few episodes and the whole concept of the Hex. It's just a good series. And now Captain America Civil War. There were a few parts of this movie where it felt a little slow, but I actually really liked the Baron Zemo as a villain. He had one of the most genius plans. Why try to defeat the Avengers when you can make the Avengers try to defeat themselves? I like this movie. Ant-Man and the Wasp. The story was good. The comedy was good. I liked the whole plot line of them needing to save Hope's mom. It was a good movie. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The villains were a little, eh, and it definitely hit a few snags, but I really like the whole legacy of Cap Shield, and it's definitely a good watch. Guardians of the Galaxy. I love this movie. Star-Lord's fun, Drax and Rocket are hilarious, Gamora keeps it grounded, and Groot is just the best character. It, this movie definitely deserves to be up here. Ant-Man. I'm always up for a good action comedy adventure, and that's all I need to say about this movie. Thor Ragnarok. I really liked how Odin said that line was like, Thor's not the god of hammers, he's the god of thunder. That really opened my eyes to something I never really noticed before. And I also really liked how he had to cause Ragnarok instead of stop it to save his people. It's just a classic good superhero storyline. Spider-Man Far From Home. I really liked how Spider-Man tried to live up to Tony's legacy, and I was actually pretty surprised on the big Mysterio twist. So I like this movie. I love Groot, I love fun shorts, so this fits perfectly in place. Starting to the Galaxy Volume 2. Basically the first one, but better. 
Loki the series. You know, this should have been ranked lower, but I just love Loki as a character, and his series was good too. I really like Black Panther as a character, and I'm glad we got to explore more into him in this movie, and I think the villain was better than most. Avengers. I really like how they all came together in this movie, and the whole motion of Coulson dying was just so sad. This truly was just the perfect Avengers movie. Spider-Man No Way Home. The whole concept of Doctor Strange letting Peter Parker be sloppy and mess up the multiverse is kind of shaky, but it definitely made up for it with all the emotion and action of all the Spider-Man coming together in the same universe. Captain America. It was a little goofy at times, and the villain wasn't the most threatening, but for one of the first Marvel movies, it sure was a good one. Avengers Infinity War. This is a crazy movie but that brought all of them together, and if it wasn't for such a cliffhanger, it would probably be higher on the list. To see the final top three, go to my next video. Please subscribe.